Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Live. I am super, super, super excited to be with you um, and today we're going to be talking about art with anything of course. So um, I'm really, really excited to begin with looking at um, some of the things we can do with anything uh, to create some artwork. So if you're here, pop in, say hello. Uh, I really appreciate you guys who come on live every week and um, just ask your questions live. So welcome and um, let's get started. So one of the fantastic things, as you can see with that um, beginning screen that you saw, I'll just pop it up again so you can have another look at that fabulous art image. So one of the fantastic things is that you can create incredible artwork, like you can see pictured on this screen here, um, this particular piece is by Natalie Parrish of Bag End Studios in Queensland and she is the distributor for Queensland. So if you are up in Queensland in Australia um, and you need any power techs, she's the go-to person there. So art with anything. How do we create some fantastic artwork like that one featured on the main screen? Now, the, one of the wonderful things with power techs, power techs art supplies, uh, it is incredible for upcycling and repurposing any material. So I'm going to pop down onto my art table and I'm going to show you some of the things that I've put together here. So let's take a look at that. So we've got lots and lots of different things here. So we've got masking tape, we've got our foil. Uh, so aluminium foil is brilliant to use wire and you can use all sorts of wire the great thing with recycling electrical wire is when you strip the main strip of white one I didn't have a piece to show you but it's a bigger thicker strip this is actually this black one is what is actually in the center of uh, that one then you will see that you can strip down this wire further to get these very, very, very fine uh, copper wires, which is just absolutely um, awesome. So um, they are really nice to use. The other thing uh, that you can use is, and that is brilliant for all your forming. So that's your art basics, the forming with Powtex. And the great thing with the Powtex is it's going to adhere to basically anything. So it's going to adhere to glass, metal, um, I've lost my train of thought. It's going to adhere to glass, metal, styrofoam, um, concrete, plaster, fabrics and fibres, of course, so basically anything porous. So it is just brilliant. So not only will it adhere and can you create amazing surfaces with the Powertex, it also will act like as a, glue, as a glue for anything else you want to add. So you can do really basic forming using really simple materials um, such as, um, you know, these discarded uh, old straws, paper straws, uh, skewers, toothpicks, even things like your cardboard rolls are brilliant for um, doing um, forming with, so creating a shape and a form. And also you can then um, actually do some uh, interesting things with actually putting the shapes and forms together in terms of those. So, of course, you've also got um, old alfoil or foil rolls that you can also use. Uh, styrofoam, whether it is styrofoam balls or whether it is old packaging material, is also absolutely brilliant. And the great thing with the styrofoam is that you can easily, easily pop it together. So I think I've actually got two balls here somewhere. One of them has decided to roll off my table. Oh, there we are. Um, so the great thing with the styrofoam, so whether you're using packaged shapes or whether you're using uh, pre-made balls, you can just simply, um, you know, pop some Powtex onto the piece. And like you can see here, I've just simply um, popped a toothpick in there and I can simply 
um, join that on. So, of course, once the power text is actually on there, um, it, it is really well formed. So at the moment, that's just holding it in place and registering it. So you can already see how you could actually do some incredible forming just with junk materials. So I can put a combination of any materials together, just joining them with masking tape, alfoil, wire, toothpicks, kebab sticks, anything that will create the shape. Then once you've got the shape, you then want to um, you then want to put the power text on top of the shape so that you get longevity and you get gorgeous textures and finishes. So that's what really where the power text comes into its own is because it is weather resistant, it is uh, non-toxic, it is environmentally friendly, it is really super easy to use, it really makes art accessible for anyone. So it is um, really quite an awesome medium to actually play around with. So if you haven't played with it before, you are going to just love it. And if you do love upcycling with discarded objects and using um, just anything in your artwork, then the Powtex is the perfect art supply for, for uh, to use with um, your upcycling and repurposing. So plastic, styrofoam, glass, bottles and more. And uh, I'll just pop that up on the screen as well so that it is just the perfect art medium for creating any objects to art where they are recycled and repurposed. So um, I have got a few people on, so welcome everyone. It's lovely to see you. Some people are saying, yay, two weeks in a row. Welcome, Liz. Um, and yeah, very, very nice, as I say, to have you all here. So what can you do with these junk materials and how can you actually form it? So let's just take another look down to the art table and have a look and see. Now, those of you who joined last week, I talked about art outdoors and I talked about some of the things that I'd been doing while I was away. So you can see that this piece here is it's going to be actually a whale shark. So what I need to do next is I need to put some power techs on him. So how he is formed is simply using alfoil, masking tape and wire. So very, very simple. He is at this stage super light. So his weight will actually depend on, um, you know, the finishes that I put on his textural surfaces. So it is just brilliant. Now, if I... Uh, I'll show you another one um, that I did show you last week as well. So this is more of a ray-like form, so like a manta ray. And again, it just needs the Powtex layer on there. So let's take a look. This is um, a piece of bottle art. So it is done with a small bottle. So I'll show you what we start with. So it is done with a bottle like that which we simply put tape on and then we build up the form with our foil masking tape and then do various finishes. Now, the finishes are all done with the Powtex art supplies. So this here is an air dried clay, which is stone art. It is just absolutely gorgeous to use. So um, you, it dries without firing, so you can instantly put it onto your piece. We've used Powertex and 3D sand on this and, um, of course, um, some of the pigments and things to actually um, do the colouring at the end. So you can see how you can get an amazing finish. So this piece I actually did with... Um, with uh, Christy Margam Elkins in a recent bunny workshop that we did at Easter time. And I'll just show you some of um, her artwork because she's been doing so much uh, bottle art. So she has just been going nuts with bottle art and um, so starting with a glass bottle and then moving on to doing some really incredible things with creating some fantastic animals. Now, if you are here in Perth, uh, just a shout out, we are going to be doing 
um, an animal kingdom for the Craft and Quilt Fair. And I'm sure many of you would have heard that the dates for that have changed from May to July. So I will be sending out more information around that and posting some more info about that. But at the Craft and Quilt Fair, you'll be able to see um, an amazing animal kingdom, as well as many, many other things we have planned for the show. And of course, get hands on and try some bits and pieces out. So um, let me just show you some of Christy's artwork. So this is another piece done by um, Christy. So it is a recycled red fox and isn't it just gorgeous? So it started off, like I say, simply with, um, with the bottle and um, hang on, let me see if I can show you that again. So it started off simply with a bottle and then um, building the form on. Now, um, we I'm super, super, super excited to say that we are going to be um, doing a, a Red Fox workshop. So as I was saying, it started off just with one of these um, bottles and then we build up the form. We like what we've done with the rabbit, but same, same, but different. Um, so if you did come to the rabbit workshop and you love that, you'll love this one too. So yeah, that's super cute. And the dates will be going up for that very soon in terms of workshops that will be available in Perth for you to attend. And this one is Vincent Van Gogh by uh, Christy as well. So um, just super fun. I absolutely love the title. I think he's just super, super, super cute. And um, yeah, just absolutely uh, gorgeous. So you can see the possibilities. And really, one of the things that I wanted to highlight to you today is just the professional finish that you can get on your artwork. So although you're starting with really junk materials like cardboard rolls, recycled packaging, even plastic bottles, if you want to use plastic bottles, then all you need to do is simply put some masking tape on them and then away you go with your plastic forming. So just join it together with masking tape like I did with the whale shark and um, create any, any form you like. So it could be abstract, it could be something that you want to make, um, but whatever, just use your junk materials. So found materials are also brilliant from the curbing. I know lots of you like going out there and doing curbing and picking up bits and pieces. Um, so uh, things like handles and vases and old bottles and all sorts of materials can be found when you all the rubbish pickup goes out. So um, mirrors, frames, old frames are all perfect to upcycle with Powtex. So I just want to also um, really talk to you about the queen of um, upcycling really for Powertex in Australia and that is Natalie Parrish. So as I was saying before, she's located in, in Bag End Studio in Queensland and she just does so much stuff with upcycling and repurposing things. When I first met Natalie, she had a business called Sacred Ibis and I believe that is still um, going as well. But the ibis goes around and plucks and finds things and scounges, scrounges and scavenge. And um, Natalie loves to include repurposed and recycled materials such as plastic bottles and different things in her artwork. So she just does a lot of this and it really is her niche. She's really found a really brilliant space. So um, as I said before, her piece was featured on the front page. Now, this is just a wonderful piece, no pun intended, Wonderland's March Hair. So it's wonderful. And um, it is based on a Shivers Regal bottle. So she's used a Shivers Regal bottle and she always says, oh, it's the Regal March Hair. And there's actually a whole lot of um, really nice story behind this piece that Natalie has done. And for me, it just shows the professional level that you can really go to when you start playing with the Powertex and you've got an idea for your artwork and then you go, okay, now that I know a few techniques, tricks and tips, how can I now 
actually utilize the PowerTex in my artwork. So for those of you who don't know anything about PowerTex or what PowerTex is, uh, just pop on to some of the other videos and check it out, what PowerTex is. And there's a whole lot of information there. And of course, every Friday, I am coming to you live weekly to highlight some different techniques and things that uh, we are doing. So I'll just pop back to the art table. Now, um, as I said, it starts with a bottle. So find some interesting bottles. So um, these particular pieces have started with bottle, but there is so much else that you can use. But today we'll focus a little bit on um, bottles and using different uh, forms. So you can use any interesting bottle. So these dimple bottles are really nice. One of my favourites is... Um, this bottle with the handles, which is from the Kraken, and it's really nice to allow some of the features to come through. And then uh, this is also a really lovely bottle that I love um, the shape of, and you could do so much with it. It's handy to keep the lids, so if you remember to do that, uh, keep the lids because it's nice to actually put some sand in your bottle to actually weight it down before you um, start your artwork. So um, that's how those pieces that I've just featured have actually begun. Of course, you could keep um, lovely old perfume bottles would be perfect. Perfume bottles come in gorgeous shapes and sizes and would just be beautiful to work on. Have a look at what else you can find in terms of different shapes and forms. And it's all about creating form and really um, coming up with a form that you like and you love, starting with the form at this level where you either start with a bottle um, and tape it or you just simply oh, purely <laughs> start with the masking tape and uh, alfoil. So form it up any way you like. Then after you've done that and you've created your form, you can see here I've got a another uh, bunny piece going and he's simply been covered with a little bit of um, bluish grey Powtex and uh, a little bit of 3D flex in the mix and so you can see already it's starting to cover some of that masking tape. So what we want by the time we finish is for it to go from looking like a masking taped form to actually looking like an incredibly beautifully finished artwork and when you tell people that you have begun with masking tape they go oh my goodness really <laughs> so that is really the trick is to um, work on your form and uh, then finish it with really beautiful surfaces with the Powtex. And as I say, the Powtex is perfect because it is going to adhere to um, all of your um, artwork and make beautiful textural surfaces. So uh, just a bit of information about uh, Natalie. So you can actually learn more about Bag In Studios and Powtex workshops in Queensland if you go to the website baginstudio.net. So if you are in Queensland, check that out and there's lots of lovely Queensland trainers that you can access if you want to do some workshops with them. Um, and of course Vincent van Gogh was a glass bottle from a glass bottle to a Vincent van Gogh or a red fox um, was by Christy Margam El Elkins who is Chris Art in WA and she has been doing some workshops at Powtex and we've got some more workshops coming up. So you can find Christy's artwork, more of it on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, if you come to the craft show in Perth, you'll be able to meet us all there and pick our brains and um, work out creatively what suits you. The other thing that I have got coming up on Monday uh, is um, starting out Mondays. And so if you just need a little bit of guidance, get in touch with me, private message me and ask me about Art Mondays. So of course, you can always learn more about PowerTex 
um, at the on the Powtex website. There's lots of little videos, tuition, lots of um, helpful product information sheets. And if you can't find anything, of course, you can always private message me and let me know. So um yeah remember to create connect and share with us as well and i'll just check out and see if there are any questions so just bear with me for a second and uh, let's have a look and see if there's any questions so um just having a scroll so natalie's just saying uh sacred ibis needs a little bit of work and um Christy Margan Elkins is fabulous. Yes, absolutely. So uh, after we've done all, okay, we have got quite a long question here from Donna. So let's just take a look at that. So after we've done all our collecting of recyclables, what Powtex products would you suggest beginners purchase to start working with? Great question. So obviously when you're beginning, you can jump in and get everything, but usually we are budget restricted. Um, so uh, just choose the colour that you would like to work with. I always highly recommend the bronze and ivory Powtex to start with so that you've got a dark colour and a light colour. And the ivory Powtex gives you so much flexibility because you can then spray beautiful bisters. So I say a kilo of bronze, a kilo of ivory, some easy 3D flex is super, super fun and useful. Stone art clay and maybe a couple of bisters and then get started on that. So I hope that helps you with that, Donna. And uh, yes, she's saying, <laughs> I don't understand why the brown Powtex is good. So I'll just quickly um, talk about that. So basically the reason I suggest the brown Powtex is because it creates a really dark underlayer to your texture. And um, so you can build up your layers, create all your textural elements, and then you can use your acrylic paints or your pigments to actually highlight and colour your piece up. And you're simply dry brushing across the top of those textures so you can actually achieve an incredibly professional finish if you use a dark power, a, a dark power text colour underneath to create your textures. So I hope that helps Donna and it is just a brilliant um, a way to start so it's actually nicer to create all your textural elements with the bronze and then highlight them and color them up what about other colors of powtex or other products to add texture and color yeah absolutely add the i i have them all obviously so um, I love the Powtex and I. this is one of the main reasons that I became the importer of Powtex for Australia is because I love using it in my artwork. So as a mixed media artist, I have, have and use everything. So if you want to go nuts and um, purchase a whole heap of stuff, then, um, you know, you never go wrong with it. And the Powtex colours all intermix, so they are brilliant. So they have... Uh, because they're water-based, you can add acrylics, pigments to the colours as well, but you can also intermix them like you would intermix acrylic paints. So there's heaps and heaps and heaps of um, information there for you guys, and I hope that all helps. And I do try and answer questions live, so if you are popping on live, um, make sure that you are asking those questions. And uh, Donna's just saying, absolutely helps. Thank you very much. So I'm happy with that. And please don't hesitate to connect with us in the um, group in, and um, just ask any questions that you have if you're stuck with anything there as well. So Natalie is just saying that she loves the bronze power text with the bronze gold because you can make your pieces look like a, a bronze. And absolutely, that is um, 100% right. Um, the finish is just incredible and it is super simple so you can get a really professional bronze look to your piece if you use the um, brown Powtex called bronze and the bronze gold in combination with that. So thanks Natalie for popping in there and um, yeah, she's just also saying that an easy starting starter bottle with Powtex is to use one of the fabric uh, fabric heads, one of the plaster heads from the Powtex range, and then use fabric string and then finish it um, with bronze gold, and you're done. 
So there you go. So all absolutely fabulous. And Anne Dunlap is just also saying, power text, you're only limited by your imagination. And that is absolutely 100% the case, Anne. So thank you for that comment. Uh, she loves the products too. And so go out, enjoy creating and um, have a blast and try some of these wonderful products for yourself and you will be amazed at uh, what you can actually do with them. So uh, let's just finish up there and I hope you guys have all enjoyed that this week. Next week um, I'll either have Alana on with me, Alana Grant who is a WA artist looking at some of the artwork that she has created with PowerTech. So if you um, are on today and you have seen what we do uh, next week, I'll be interviewing her and just showcasing some of her artwork. If I can't get her on next week, then I will do a demonstration. So I like to mix it up a bit. Sometimes it's talk and, talking and sometimes it's actually doing. So enjoy, have a blast creating. I hope this has inspired you for the weekend and that you get cracking on um, some artwork. So just one more question, I'll just put that up. Are there any glitter products that work with Powtex? So absolutely go nuts with glitter if you love glitter, um, just uh, because you can use anything that is water-based in combination with the Powtex. The Powtex will act like a glue. Um, so you can go nuts with anything. So any um, embellishments and colours and things that you already have, you can absolutely 100% use. And Natalie is just saying also check out the bottle cuff on the Powtex website. So it is actually called Bottle Bling. It's on YouTube and it's also on the website. And uh, that is a simple, simple, really um, lovely little project to do if you're just starting with Powtex. So go out and enjoy. And as I say, if you need any input, we are here to help you. So please don't hesitate to private message us or message us in the group on Facebook and we can help you or leave a message on YouTube. So uh, chat soon. Enjoy creating. Have a great weekend, everyone. Um, and see you next week. Bye.